We must speak, we must walk, we must fight, we must dream. Faith that slips like the hands of time tick and the sun falls behind the horizon. It seems the fight is lost and some bear minimal cost, but keep the fire burning, there is hope. I saw it in a dream, many children conceived into a world in need of healing and love. They bear scars inflicted through generational wars started by men whose spirits wander lost on a number man's country. Now listen, my love, this journey will be tough, but trust me when I say you are strong. Your power is with Mother Earth and wisdom with Father Sky. With that knowledge, you can weather the storms. And the storms will come and go. For those who don't know will speak and act before listening to their heart. So when the anger rises, make sure you realize this, that no one can take away who you are. However, a decision must be made. For the paths that are paved are no place for weary steps in the faint of heart. So before this day closes and the sun kisses the roses, giving over his light to the moon and the stars, we must decide. The choice is not one of if, but of when, not one of wow, why, but of how. How we speak, how we walk, how we fight, how we dream. Becoming warriors for a vision beyond the limitations of these systems. We speak with integrity, with strength, with conviction. We walk in numbers for truth, for justice. We fight with courage, with love, and for as long as it takes, we dream big, limitless, of equality, of togetherness, of freedom. Speak, walk, fight, dream. This world is one of action. If we want to eat, we must first plant the seed. The quality of our cultivation is the quality of the fruits. Those who want to fill their bellies will keep the fruits for themselves, and those who want to fuel their souls will share. Speak, walk, fight, dream. I scan my smile at the cash register, knowing I don't have enough money to pay my teeth or barcode, and they no longer work. I found a Manal 9, and to be honest, I actually contemplated buying something that would last a little longer. I even thought about buying someone else's smile and pretending it were my own. All the men I've dated had my smile on their shopping list, and I'm just trying to buy it back before they do. Beep! Tomorrow's a trolley with broken wheels. I can't get far without remembering. I still need to make it through today. Beep, I've heard conveyor belt tongues. Beep, regurgitate. Beep, plastic covered. Beep, slogans. But you never had to live them. Strong black woman. A cellophane advertising paper wrapped around our bones. It doesn't hold us together. It just takes away our permission to break when the world gives us every reason to. Beep, I scan my self-worth. And your eyes are a catalog. Your gaze reminds me that I'm on special beep. Credit card palms swipe across my body. But the privilege that you're spending belongs to the bank. Beep. Place a clearance sticker on my forehead. Beep. Sold my dark skin to white women who could afford to pay. Beep. Bought my insecurities and sold them back to me for twice the price, the perfect heist. Beep. I scan my innocence. Why won't you let me buy it back? Men sat in the car park on benches, contemplating on how to shoplift from the middle of my legs. And security is quick to check my bag, but they forget that I am the one who has just been stolen. After assault, I compare the price of steak silent and the cost of speaking up, and it is always cheaper <gasps> not to say a word. Beep. You asked me if I want to pay with cash or card? And I give you every second chance I have left in my back pocket. I've overpaid. I'm sorry. But forgiveness is the only currency this world has ever taught women to use. And you hand me a receipt filled with all the apologies that I've had to accept. And I keep it just in case I can claim your good intentions back on tax. You place my smile in a reusable bag. 
This is the only thing that the world will let me buy back. I have always been told that a woman's greatest quality is her ability to nurture that she is the only person that will water any plant she sees, not the only ones that are at her home. I learned that a woman's greatest currency is her softness and her elegance and her charm and her ability to submit when she needs to. But in reality, a woman's greatest gift is her ability to rise in the middle of a crowd that didn't even know she was there that she is true leadership because she has been willing to give to the world when she really had nothing but fragments of her soul that scattered around her body with no location to rest her pain at. I learned that a woman's greatest gift is to use her hand as bandages to bro broken people together while she is still bleeding. That a woman's greatest gift is her ability to use her own heartbeat as melodies to put people's trauma at ease. I learned that a woman's greatest gift gift is her ability to advocate for those who don't have a voice, that her ability to bring life into this world and incur so much pain because she is divinity, that a woman's greatest gift is that she is the backstage to every revolution, but without her, nothing moves forward, that her voice is the lullabies in the middle of a war zone that she is the peacekeeper, that she is the place that people run to when everything is trembling down, that even her tears turn into waterfalls that people admire and call it beautiful, forgetting that it came from her own pain, that she would use her own tears as ink to write stories that will share with her grandkids one day. A woman's greatest gift is her ability to run dynasties in complete silence, and her voice feels like vibrations that will bring a room to its knees, that she has been ruling without even asking for a throne, that crowns mean nothing to her besides a pretty accessory that the world told her she needs, that she is a melody, and that her eyes remind me of earth, and she has a smile that makes the stars want to stand next to her and say, guess who's prettier, that she has footsteps that create a wave of motion that remind our ancestors that the work that was started is still being done, that her beauty isn't in just fixing things that are broken and hurting herself in the process, that loving people who have not learned to love themselves is not her only job description, that she doesn't just give birth to life, that she gives people an ability to rebirth their souls again once it is coming to his last breath. She is special for many reasons because her silence and her voice are just as powerful. And her aggression and her gentleness are just as admirable. And her fight and her ability to take a step back to let people learn from her own mistake as a true definition of courage, that she is a leader without ever been given a title that she's willing to sacrifice her own being for the sake of others, but she doesn't have to anymore because that is not a definition of woman we will subscribe to.